Your SparJet is also equipped with audio-visual equipment. If you have a 1G model, you'll be able to listen to either an iPod or a CD player and the sound will come through from the waterproof speaker which is located in between the foot massage jets located inside the SparJet capsule. If you have a 2G model, it is DVD ready. In order to use the DVD function, you will have to have a separate DVD player. Preferably get your electrician to lengthen the cables that we're going to show you in a second so that you can fit the DVD player in at the back of the room or out of the way of the spar jet so it won't get any water on it. These cables are usually tied up at the head end of the spar jet on the right hand side. Usually the cables will be tied up with a cable tie to the strut or the leg at the head end and you simply need to cut this cable tie and release the cables and then leave them on the outside of the spar jet shell so that you can access the audio and DVD functions. We're going to show you what those cables look like now. We have our cables located on the outside of the spar jet shell. There are three cables if you have a DVD compatible model. The yellow cable is the cable for the, for the video. The white and the red cables are the left and right audio sources. You need to ensure that your DVD player has got a video and left and right audio input and you'll plug these cables into that input. If you have the 1G model, you will simply have one cable, which looks a little like this except a bit smaller. This pin will actually fit into the CD player or even into your iPod in order for you to access the sound or the music function. Now that you've attached your CD player or your DVD player if you have a 2G model, You'll start your program and now I'll show you how to access the DVD function using the control panel. When you're in a program, the screen will look like this. If you have a DVD compatible model, you will have a box on the left hand side to access the DVD. When you highlight that box of the DVD function, press the enter button and that will usually access your DVD player. Simply start the DVD using the controls on your DVD player or the remote control as you would when you're watching your television at home. If you want to adjust the volume, press the escape button to bring you back into the regular screen. Use the left arrow button to highlight the audio box and then press enter. The audio will give you the option to turn on or off the speaker or to choose the volume control. You want to choose the volume control. Use the down arrow button to select volume control and press the enter button to confirm your selection. Now use the right arrow button to select the correct level of the music. Once you've selected the appropriate level, simply press the enter button to confirm your selection. Now that you've confirmed your selection, press escape and that will bring you back into your regular screen. Your DVD will now play and the sound will come through the waterproof speaker. If you have a 1G model which does not have the DVD function, you will be able to adjust the volume of your music sound by using the audio box, the same as we've just shown you. The audio or the DVD will run for the duration of the program and just remember to use the controls of the DVD panel in order to go to the next section of your DVD or to start, stop or pause. Once you've turned this on, simply lower the panel so that your client can watch the DVD and so that they can have the benefit of the face air.